Hey, so the question is, um, can you brush your teeth with rubbing alcohol? Uh, the answer is no, you should not do that um, because you know the, the direction on the label says you shouldn't. And the other thing is that is it is also very impractical to do so. And we'll kind of demonstrate why. But you know, but the first thing is, you know, you should look at the instructions on the label sometimes. And if you look at this this alcohol right here, this rubbing alcohol from Walgreens, right? We scroll down here to warnings, right? It says it explicitly says for external use only. If taken internally, serious gastric disturbances will result. Um, in other words, you should not be putting this into your mouth, right? So that kind of eliminates it as a, a type of toothpaste in case you're hoping to use it as a toothpaste because you're not really supposed to. Um, but you know, but the other thing is that it's not very, um, it's not practical to be using rubbing alcohol as, as like a form of toothpaste anyway, because as, as you know, like rubbing alcohol, it, it dries very, very quickly. So, you know, as soon as you, you kind of put some on, on, on your skin, right, it, it, it will evaporate within like a couple of seconds, like really, really quickly. So we have some rub, rubbing alcohol there. So, so if you were brushing with this, it would just literally start evaporating within like seconds, you know. But aside from that, you know, if you, if you try to pour rubbing alcohol on like the, the, the toothbrush, right? It's like, it doesn't really stay on there. By the, by the time you finish pouring, like half of it is on the ground and it's not even on the, the toothbrush anymore. So it, it's really kind of um, pointless in my opinion because, you know, because it's in liquid form, it's not very conducive to, to using it as like a toothpaste because if you compare it to like normal toothpaste, right? Like this, this stuff is, is like solid, you know? It's like, you put it on the toothbrush and you could turn it upside down, it doesn't droop down, it stays on the toothbrush so you could brush with it and it just makes it a lot easier. Um, but yeah, so so that's why we don't really uh, recommend using rubbing alcohol on to, to brush your teeth with because number one, you're not supposed to put it in your mouth and number two, it's a very poor toothpaste because uh, it evaporates very quickly and it doesn't really stay on the toothbrush. So you're uh, basically wasting your time if you're trying to use this. So yeah, I would stick with uh, regular toothpaste. All right, see you next time.